Hello, um, so uh, this is a video on my uh, favorite album each year of the 90s. Um, I'll be doing more videos like this, uh, but um, so uh, uh, I'm going to be doing more vlog videos on the channel and music related videos on the channel to create more content. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'll be uploading a lot more. Anyways, let's get to it. So, fair out each year means like one album of like each year, like 1990, 1991, 1992, and so on. Now, none of these are um, like sh uh, shocking at all. Okay, none of these are shocking at all. Um, they are pretty much MU, uh, rate your music type albums. This decade is probably my least, uh, this, I mean, this decade is probably the most predictable, um, for our album choices, uh, unlike the other decades, um, but, uh, uh, yeah, so expect those type of albums. But you don't you don't know which one I, I'm gonna pick for each year. So it's an MU uh, pitchfork rate your music albums, but which one will it be? Let's find out. So my first one is uh, from uh, 1990 and that is um, some of these I don't own by the way. Uh, is um Sonic Youth uh Goo. Um this album actually is pro this one a lot of people don't really pick. Um a lot of people know of it and like it, but nobody really picks it as like a top uh album. But uh yeah um this is probably the one from nineteen ninety I listened to the most and uh it's it's a I think it's a great album. Uh, a lot of like, I think because Sonic Youth fans, um, fanboys are kind of uh, elitist. They kind of have that. Uh, they 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 try to act like Thurston Moore pretty much. They want to be Thurston Moore. They want to beat up Narwhal and that kind of thing. And so they're like, Goo, <laughs> Goo is their mainstream album. <laughs> it's not even that good. You know, um, uh, this is not my favorite Sonic Youth album, but I think it's uh, my favorite Sonic Youth album. I'll just is uh, Evil is my favorite Sonic Youth album, but this is my favorite one of probably of the favorite one from the '90s. Um, uh, so yeah, and I'm gonna say I don't care for. Uh, I actually do not care for. This is not me being a contrarian. I don't care for Daydream Nation. Um, I know that's the one that everybody has to pick as the best, but I don't really. I don't hate the album. There's songs, a couple songs I like on it, but it's not that. Uh, um, it just never stuck with me ever. I think even the '80s they made way more interesting stuff. You know, a lot of stuff that no one really talks about. I think is more interesting. Um, but this song. Uh, this song has most of their iconic songs in it, like, um, Cool Thing, which is the, uh, diss on, um, it's like a diss on LL Cool J, um, even Chuck D's on the song, and there's a song called Tunic, it's a song for Karen, I just wanted to read that out loud, because I thought that that was pretty funny, they did it a song to Karen's, um, yeah, got Dirty Boots, My Friend Goo, which uh, might be my favorite one off of this album. Hey, goo, what's new? I said, hey, you know, I don't know. I can't. I don't remember the lyrics, but uh, when I'm gonna attempt to sing it and embarrass myself, um, Mary Christ. A lot of people know that one. Um, yeah, this is a good album. Uh, this is one of the album covers too. You see a uh, shirts of this a lot, like kind of like the. Unknown Pleasure shirt. Um, you see this one too. 
You probably can find it. You probably can find a shirt of this in uh, Urban Outfitters. Um, okay, so um, the next two I don't own at all. Uh, nineteen to nineteen ninety one. We got my boy Valentine Loveless. Um, interesting enough, um, this may not be my favorite bloody my bloody Valentine album. I might actually like the other two better. So I like almost uh all three albums equally. But uh, yeah, I'm I'll say Loveless for now because that's the one I'm most familiar with. But um, uh, so Loveless, I don't really need to introduce. I don't really have much to say about it that hasn't been said. It's a shoegaze album. Um, people make jokes that it's, it sounds like vacuums, which I can see some of it, but a lot of it, a lot of that's just exaggerated. Um, and uh, this album I've not really, like, that's why I picked it too, because it's one, two, I don't really have a lot of complaints about. Really critiques that kind of lowers it. When it comes to album rankings, um, uh, uh, I don't have a lot to say about it that hasn't been uh, said because I feel like everybody's talking about this album to death. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to want to talk more about it. Um, anyway, so nineteen ninety two is uh, Aphex Twins uh, selected ambient works a eighty five to ninety two. Now, this one, I, um, if you asked me a long time ago, um, I would have, like, what's your favorite album in 1992? I would have probably picked this one, but, uh, this is how long, um, when I was going to re-listen to it, I wasn't really sure. I was like, I don't know, like, it might make the list, but it might not, because it's kind of like, like, just instrumental electronic songs. So I was like, it might unlikely make the list because that kind of music doesn't really make uh, my kind of list. And uh, but this one did. Um, this one stands out to me the most. Um, I I think it's I think it's the best uh, album. Uh, and I uh, yeah I think it's great. Um, a lot of his like um, popular instrumentals are on here. That a lot of people know, um, and uh, yeah, it's great. It's interesting. This is how I used to go to sleep to a lot. I used to go to sleep to it a lot, and uh, um, it was one of those my go-to sleep albums that I would wake up feeling very well rested. So, thank you, Richard. Very cool. Anyways. Um, 1993, we got Bjork, or Bjork, I want to say Bjork, Bjork's uh, debut, I'm actually, you can't see it on camera, Cause, well this shirt's really dark, but it's a Bjork shirt, um, uh, this album I like a lot. A lot of people do like this album a lot, but there there's some weirdo music snobs out there who are like, Geek Album is actually not that good. And I don't know anybody who dislikes this album. Actually, a lot of people are New York fans always say this is always a go-to album because they say, oh, well, this album's pretty good. Um, uh, I'm very familiar with songs like Human Behavior, Great. We got, we got Venus as a Boy. There's more to life than this, uh, like Someone in Love, which is probably my favorite track on here, Big Time Centrality, um, Side B, Side B I know has, uh, Plain Dead, oh, One Day Come to Me, Finally Happy, what's well, interesting, so this t tape does not have Plain Dead, play dead which I always thought uh, I I think it's on the it's on the CD I believe um, I don't know about the record but uh, uh, I thought that was on this album I've always just 
Because I, when I first listened to them, you know, I always streamed it. And Play Dead was always on the streaming stuff. Um, maybe is it not on uh, Bayview? Was it like, was something I was listening to on like a mistake? Someone please let me know. I'll probably look it up after I'm done. But uh, yeah, that makes sense because I don't remember it. Because I listened to this tape. Um, this is one of the tapes. I have the Volunteer one too. This is one of the tapes that. Uh, this is actually an older tape, but uh, uh, she, um, you know, released the cassette tapes of her albums recently. Um, uh, I thought that Play Dead was on here. Someone in the comments let me know because I always assumed it was on Baby. It's unless different releases, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, 1994, we got, <laughs> this one's gonna be a funny one, um, Weezer Blue Album. Uh, I actually didn't think this one was gonna make it. My assumption was, I was listening to, like, a lot of my favorite albums and uh, albums I like of the of the year, you know, of the 90s and albums I've never heard before and I always wanted to listen to. Um, I, I didn't expect this one to make it. I was actually going to, I was, my assumption was it was going to be Nas's Illmatic, but no, it was Blue Album. Blue Album, I like better. Um, this album I listened to a lot, even though I was like in middle school, I listened to this album a lot. I'm very familiar with it. Um, it, there's nothing else to say. It's a classic album. I like this album uh, better than like, I even like it better than like Pavement stuff, better than Wheat Green Day stuff. It's that type of, you know, music, but I like it a lot. Um, and so, you know, Buddy Hall and uh, No One Else in My Garage, Suzanne, uh, you know, My Name is Jonas. Come on, dude. It's one that, it's one slap after another. You know, the sweater song, I don't, I don't really care for it. I don't actually care for the sweater song. You know, a lot of people like that song. It's saying it show, saying it so is a good song, but I've heard it too many times. The other, all the other songs, dude, slap, slap, slap. It's one slap after another. Dude, it, so it's a great album. Um, anyways, moving on to 1995, we got, Post, um, now, uh, Post is, uh, some people will say this is um, better than debut. A lot of people actually say it's better than debut, which I can understand, but I like debut better. Um, this album has a lot of, actually, probably, I mean, those first two albums probably have most, like, the songs people know of hers, but uh, this one might have the most, I feel like. Army of Me, Hyper Ballad, It's Also oh Quiet, You Can Put It Again, Isabel, Possibly Maybe I Miss You. You know, those are probably, like, some of her most iconic songs. Um, uh, fuck it. Army of Me. Hyper Ballad. Come on. You know, I'm for me again. Joy. Uh, this, this album's great. Uh, nothing negative to say about it. Um, so 1996. Now, 1996 is... I sound so... I'm, uh, I mean, I love this album, but I sound basic saying it. Uh, Burzum Philo Philosophum, if I'm saying that right. Um, by the way, this is not my favorite black metal album uh, of the 90s. Um, 
however, is the only black metal album to appear on this list. Even though it is not my favorite black metal album of the 90s, I think I like, uh, you know, Transylvania Hunger, um, Blaze of the Northern Sky, uh, um, Emperor's second album, and uh, like Uver's first album. Uh, and I'm probably forgetting a couple others. I like um, better than this album. Uh, but this is the album that the only black metal album that uh, appears on my list. Um, uh, this one I have a lot to say about. Everybody knows Uncle Varg. I just referenced him in the beginning. Um, he's a living meme. Uh, he uh, he's a weirdo, and he made a great album. That this is the one that pretty much everybody knows by him. And I have nothing else to say. It was well. Uh, one of the songs was in Gunmo, and that's about it. Uh, Alright, moving on to 1997, which is 1997, uh, uh, is the year, this is, so this is my favorite album, not just in 1997, but of the 90s, um, and it's in my top three favorite albums of all time, and yeah. And that is, I don't, it came in two records, but I'm going to show you the first one because the iconic cover is on it. Um, <clears throat> Modest Mouse's uh, Lonesome Crowd of West. Um, this album, I think, is a masterpiece. This could, you know, I said I have top three favorite albums. This could, uh, this album, uh, if, I, if I listen to my top three albums a lot, like over and over, um, this could be my favorite album ever. It could potentially be my favorite album of all time. But, uh, yeah, this album is perfect. I have no negative, nothing negative to say about it. Um, you know, Teeth Like God, Sue Shine, Heart Cook Brains. Alright, now let's go through this. Teeth Like God, Sue Shine, the, the Orange Julius song. R.I.P. The Orange Julius. Heart cooks brains. Your heart's the, what is it? Your heart's the coal. No, the burger is the brain. The heart is the coal. Come on, dude. Convenient parking. Tell me what junkies shooting up in the parking lot. Ah. You know, baby blue seated, uh, Jesus Christ, the only child doing the cockroach, doing the cockroach, yeah, doing the cockroach, yeah. Cowboy Dan, possibly the greatest Modest Mouse song, Trailer Trash, and then the uh, yeah, Styrofoam Boots, Trucker's Atlas, which is like 15 minutes long. You got Bankrupt on Selling, which actually might be on her song now. I loved her. Loved her more when she used to be sober and I was kinder. Come on! Dude, that, that shit, that is the realest song of all time. Oh man. This album is just uh, amazing. I like the photos in the back of the record. I'm assuming it's Seattle? I feel like it's a mix of Seattle and Portland. Uh, I can't tell. I'm assuming it's Seattle. You can't really see because it's a horrible webcam, but uh, um, the photos are very pretty. This is amazing. Um, if this, I can, I can, I, I can, If this album was um, a woman, I would fucking. I do many nasty things to it. Anyways. 1998. The year. Your boy. The genius Radical She was born. 1998. Come on. What else is it? What, else, what other albums are it going to be? Neutral Milk Hotels. In the Airplane Over the Sea. Um, this album. 
This is not the album. It's such a meme. It is probably the most meme album, album of all time. Um, I have nothing to say about it. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. All right, let's get to the last one. 1999. I don't have the CD in here. Um, it's probably in one of my cases somewhere. Uh, this is album I can never pronounce. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, this is a uh, Cigaros. Cigaros. I can't. I, I don't actually know the pronunciation. Cigaros's uh, second album. It's so dark. Uh, this in this. Igis Igitis Byron. Igitis Byron. Igitis Byron. Igitis Byron. Um. Uh, this is an album I don't put on a lot, but when I do, um, uh, I get emotional, man. Uh, I actually, like, I love this album. Uh, yeah, they're a band you can't really put on their music, like, anytime. You have to be in the mood, um, but they never disappoint when they do, and, um, I've never, I haven't listened to their music past, like, 2012, so I, you know, because after a while, it kind of sounds samey, in my opinion, um, the earlier albums all kind of have a different sound, maybe the earlier albums do, too, I'm not sure, but, uh, uh, this album is a masterpiece, it's one of the best pieces of music I've ever heard. Um, Olsen Olsen um, is a masterpiece. It could be the greatest song ever made, possibly. I don't know. But uh, yeah, great album. So that wraps up uh, my video and my favorite album from each year of the 90s. Um, recommend what, uh, what other video should I do? What other, you know, music? related videos should I do? What, what topics? Do you want me to review something? Do you want me to react to something? What other decades should I do the best of? Of. Okay? You guys should come up with some ideas, and I'll do them, okay? Alright. Peace out, homies.